area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Cookies, but I let him run. Niggas ran on this man when he got jumped. I just dropped 30 on my neck. That's heavy. A nigga play, he gotta meet the set. That's heavy. Dan don't like the walk, he like the tech. That's heavy. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, take a seat, cause we gotta speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. We're gonna talk about goods versus math. Math versus goods. I done seen both sides of this. I seen goods, you know, goods was on the um interview with ARP they was talking and you know goods expressed that you know math is not a battle that he really wanted you know goods be on the joint brushing his beard like this you know what I'm saying my joint I'm, I'm getting out there so I'm at afro pick level now you know what I'm saying but goods you know he got a baby joint his joint he be brushing and all of that so he was basically expressing that math is not a battle that he really wants he said math is thirsty he's chasing a battle things like that right and I'm a I'm going to speak for both sides and I'm going to just give you my thoughts. Like I said, respect the handle, subscribe to the channel. This is just my thoughts. So, uh, I watched math. Like, math went live yesterday. Well, he had to read between the lines. And it was almost two hours long, but I was at work. So, I pressed play. You know what I'm saying? Like, math. Like, I couldn't watch a whole ARP joint and a whole math. Because if I sat there and watched all of that... I would still be watching it now. I wouldn't even be able to talk to y'all. But I did get the main points in order to get to the synopsis and the scenario of where I've got. So, math is basically saying that Goods is not in a position to say what he hasn't done versus what he has done. And he said Goods has battled some random people. He battled the Jeffrey kid. He battled Jims. Um, Jims is not really random. It was, you know, the RB joint. They had a little situation. He was saying that um, he battled... Who else he battled? Jeffrey, he battled Gage. He said that Goods battled Gage. So Goods does take some random battles. And then he said Geechee. He tried to call the Geechee battle random. I don't really think the Geechee battle was random because a lot of people, there were people that wanted to see Geechee versus Goods. And there were people that wanted to see um, Goods versus, like Geechee battle. Because the thing about Goods, right? I rock with Goods. As a matter of fact, I spoke with Goods not too long ago. Uh, buy the chocolate leather cologne. You know what I'm saying? Goods has a website. He's promoting his chocolate leather, leather cologne. Salute to him as a black business owner doing his numbers and all that and all that. So, he basically does not take battles that don't benefit him in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say opportunistically, but I will say he's a businessman. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's get the focus right. In order to know this right, let's get the focus right. So, he doesn't take a lot of battles that are just random battles. Like, you're never going to see Goods on just a super fight weekend just battling against insert new name. I don't even know how to go. You know, I ain't going to say versus some name. And then that name gets on camera later. Oh, <laughs> it says, yo, he's hating on me. So, I ain't going to do that. But what I will say is you're never going to see him just on a random smack card just battling anywhere versus anybody. That's not what Goods does. He's more strategic. He moves differently and he takes battles that benefit him. You know what I'm saying? Like if you look at some of the ones that he's had, him versus T-Top, T-Top was one of the hotter, newer guys at the time. He wasn't like a brand new rapper, but he was at his apex of rising in the new era. He took him. Geechee Gotti, same deal. You know what I'm saying? Like Geechee Gotti had been proven that he was the best of the new talent. Like there was a lot of new talent that came through before and after Geechee Gotti, around that time frame, you had uh, New Jersey Twerk was probably the biggest name. You had a lot of other names, the Jerry Wests of the world. Uh, Avenham came before that. You had the Jerry Wests of the world. You had that whole Goonies movement. Uh, Jack Boy Main was rising. He had got to the John John and Don battle. Um, and it was a lot of other names that were bubbling at the time. Geechee Gotti came after them. You know what I'm saying? A little bit after them, but he's clearly at the top of the game right now, as far as battle rap, like Gigi Gotti is the one. Like he did what you're supposed to do when you're put in that position to get that light, because there's a lot of people who wish that they could get the machine behind them, get the company behind them, and get people invested in them. And he did everything that he needed to do. He moved right, he promoted himself right. Uh, you know, he had won a lot of battles. You know, he put himself in a position 
that he's at right now. He has the clothes, he has no studio and podcast. Like each guy did his numbers. So it only makes sense for Goods to take him because he's looking at it like, well, every time somebody gets bubbling, if I spin the block and battle them, it only helps build me and build me and build me more. So when people try to give Goods flack as far as like his resume or his legacy, I say Goods definitely should get the respect that he deserves. Goods been around for a long time. And the funny thing is, Goods is not the most lyrical, critical, metaphysical MC, but at the same time, he don't lose often. Like Goods has very few clear, clear battles that he lost, very few. And to be someone that's around for that amount of time, he's been around forever, he should get his respect. Now, when it comes to math, um, it's a different road to get to the same place. Like you've seen Math Hoffa rise, you've seen Math Hoffa fall, you've seen Math Hoffa have good battles, you've seen him have other battles. Like he has forged himself into his position the hard way. Like a lot of people give Math flag, oh, they don't want to see his battles, oh, they, well, all the things that people say about him, like the whole West Coast thing. But I, I got no issue with Math. I rock with Math, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of love for Math. I definitely support when he does. Uh, his show, you know, when he does the the, the, the battles like with Nicky Jam, Method Man, we recap them joints. So I like what he's doing for himself individually. As far as his take on a battle with Goods, I don't like the battle because Goods don't want the battle. If Goods don't want the battle and if Goods is not really like clamoring for the battle, it ain't gonna be one. It wouldn't be one to begin with, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna be a good battle because Goods only takes in battles against the people who he feels like got some kind of buzz or that he can benefit with, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a benefit for benefit thing. He's not gonna go battle somebody who he don't even feel like is like, not on his level as far as like rap wise, that's not the thing. Stature and where they're at in their career right now. And Goods has clearly said Math Hopper's ice cold. He's, he's went out there and said this before. These are not my words, these are his. He said Math Hopper's ice cold. He's begging for a battle. He's fiending for a battle. He's fiending for a look. And when, when someone's saying those type of things, they don't really feel like it's much that they can benefit off you. If he felt like there was some benefit off of battling him, Goods would be in for it. When ARP had named a list of names that he had offered Goods, he said 40, he thought 40 bars. Once he found out it was 40 cal, he was like, nah, I'm good. You see what I'm saying? Like he's not willing to battle against people that's not gonna help him. And that's just my thought. That's my thought process. He looks at it like a 40 cal is not gonna help his scenario at all. He looks at it like a 40 bars. You know, she has a female fan base. She could bring in a lot of views. 40 bars is going is guaranteed million views on a battle. Um, and especially against the goods. It's guaranteed to do numbers. It's guaranteed to provide something for him more than just the battle. Now, do I look at Math Hoffa as thirsty for a battle or hungry for a battle? No, nah, not much. You know, <laughs> I'm not saying hungry. Like, I know y'all, I know. I know how y'all do, but um, I look at it like he wants to continue to shake the game, make niggas move out the way, you know, be a wrecking ball and do what he does. I know that's what he wants, but the thing is, it's just some MCs that look at it like I don't see no benefit in battling math. And I've had, I've spoke to people. There's just people who have these conversations. There are certain MCs that people feel like they have nothing to gain by battling, so they won't battle them. Now, is it scared? I'm not gonna say scared. Like this shit is like a, it's a super business. Like the game is such a business to where it's like people, certain people won't even mention you because it's like I'm not gonna mention them because it's only gonna bring them light. So he's not gonna mention you, or he's not gonna, he's not gonna entertain having a battle with you. Now. Has Math had closure battles? Yes, he battled Charlie Clips, you know what I'm saying, on RBE. You know, he battled Jag on RBE. Math versus Jag is a very good battle. Math, math, that was a very good version of Math too. Like Math brought his A game versus Jag, who was still figuring himself out that time, and Jag got ill will next. If you know like I know Jag, don't watch this right here. Go keep writing. And whatever you was writing, keep on writing. Because ill will, he's still your folks, but any ill will versus ill will, you will get smoked. You better have it all. You better have everything in the pot ready for ill will, because ill will cooks people. But um, back to this uh, math and goods. 
Um, I don't really see it as a good battle. I don't see it as a battle that's going to happen because with Goods, like I said, he's so in charge of his own brand that if it was something that he would even entertain, he would have entertained it already for the money, if bet, if nothing else. But see, the thing is, there's certain MCs that when they're doing things with themselves, they're not just gonna move, just do shit for money. When you're doing I in life and you got your stuff together, you working, you got your you got your bread, you're not gonna just do things for money. Like people get offered bread all the time. I get money offered money all the time. But when you look at it, you're like, is it worth it? Mmm, nah. I know a lot of some people times people complain about some of the music videos and stuff like that. If you complain about those, imagine the stuff that I don't put up. Like the artists that make it through the process, they send the music for promotion and things like that. Those are the videos that I'm saying, all right, cool, these could go. Some of the videos that people try to get to pay to get seen, I'll be like, nah, son, I can't put this up. Because if I put this up, that's what I'm saying. All money ain't good money. And what I'm saying is some MCs are just not gonna take certain battles. And I feel like Goods does not have, he doesn't feel like there's anything to gain from a math battle. He feels like there's no benefit. The way he's carrying it is like there's no benefit for him. Um, math, I know he'll continue to call him out. I know he'll continue to call other MCs out because that's what he does. I respect his legacy. I respect his pen. I respect what he's doing as far as like with his career and with his channel and with his show, you know, expert opinion, things like that. He's doing what he needs to do. You know what I'm saying? When you, when people count you out or people ain't looking forward to or trying to give you, them, give you that love, he takes the game into his own hands. He continues to elevate. But as far as the goods battle, I slept on it and I thought about it and I'm like, nah. If it's a battle that, that one of the MCs in the joint does not want and he's literally clamoring and saying like, yo, he's ice cold. What has he done? I don't want that battle. You put him in it, it ain't gonna end up well. I know he battled Jeffrey. I know he battled Jims. But a Jims battle is probably, he looked at Jims, the way he looked at Jims was like Jims was one of the upper names at RBE at the time. So while I'm going through my battles, I could take Jims, who's a, who's a bigger name at RBE, and I feel like I, I could beat him. Like he felt like, you know, he feels like I can beat him. He can't beat me. So I can beat him, and then he's got a name. Why wouldn't I take that? You know what I'm saying? And then he's getting paid the bag that he wants. With math, you know, math can beat you, number one. Math can beat you lyrically. Math is gonna talk his trash. And Goods is just looking at it like he don't, some people just don't want their name next to other people. I'm just gonna say it like that. The way, that's that at the end of the day, you know, like, like at the core of the situation, some people just don't want their name on a card next to somebody else's name. That, that's just what it is and I and I viewed both sides I respect math you know if he gets it if the battle does happen I will watch it I will predict on it and things like that but goods at this point it's like nah he ain't gonna happen gang smoke cookies but I let him run niggas ran on this man when he got jumped I just dropped 30 on my neck that's heavy a nigga play he gotta meet the set that's heavy Damn don't like the walk, he like the tech. That's